Hello and welcome to Oscar Modeling. In this video, we'll be doing um, tips and tricks on using decals or decals, depending how you pronounce them, and uh, some uh, everything a beginner knows needs to know about using and applying decals. Coming from a beginner, so if I can do this, you can do this. <laughs> Where I want to start with is I'm building this Bandai model here. We'll use this as an example, um, mainly because, well, these models need a lot of decals. In this video, I'll call it decals. Um, as you can see here, the layout of the decals required for this particular X-Wing, quite a lot. And I've done quite a lot of it. There's the the sheet that's being used. So, so we'll go over what I do when it comes to um, using decals. First of all, this is just my way of doing it, and this works for me. There's a lot of videos out there that will show you lots of other ways, lots of other um, techniques and so forth, and Hey, I'm all I'm for sure they all work. And hey, a lot of the stuff I learned on doing this was from other videos I found around on YouTube. But I figure I found a technique that works for me, and I can. Sh and I thought, well, let's. I might as well share it. So let's give this a go. So as first of all, um, what you need is some water, and in this lid here. I've just got a small amount of water. It's probably about five millimeters deep. That's all I need. Some places will tell you that you can use distilled water, water or um, boiled water that's cooled down. Uh, that's fine. Me, I just use tap water. I have no problems with tap water. Uh, that could depend on where you are and what your tap water is like, uh, what chemicals are in it. But um, to be safe though, if you just boil some water and let it cool down, that'd be fine. Um, people have also suggested using warm water. Warm water, um, that can work, but I don't see any need. It might shorten the time you need to soak your, your decal in there for by a few seconds, but it's not really worth it, and it's quite a hassle having to keep your water warm all the time um because it goes cold trust me within five minutes your, your warm water will be starting to get cool again right so now the decals themselves the the quality of the decal sheet has a lot to do with how well they're going to be able to be applied newer model kits not usually a problem um the deck decals are quite easy to use some of the older kit models you might see that some of the decals may be faded um, they're just older sheets you may have some troubles with those i've had that problem before with a uh, an aircraft carrier the kitty hawk 1350 scale that i built um, the kit had been in the box for nine years and so were the decals obviously and they were nine years old and wherever they were whether they were somewhere hot and humid or whatever um, i noticed that quite a few of the decals were really difficult to take off or they'd stained a little bit there was a few spots of mold on them even um so yeah it was it was quite uh, challenging but these ones are quite okay now the best way to work on these, I find, is to using your knife that you would normally use, whether it be a, you know, a normal little Stanley knife or anything, um, or scissors, you could use a pair of scissors, um, probably small ones for this, 
just the important thing is to be careful and make sure you don't cut something you don't want to cut. The last thing you want to do taking a decal off is run your knife across another decal. So take your time with it. Be really careful. Sometimes you'll come across decals like this, I'll show you here, where say this one, decal number 14, was actually four pieces exactly the same. Now, what I would do is I would start with the one furthest away, work my way up, because you'll find that if you start at this end and worked your way down, you're getting close to the next decal number, 15, and you could easily get things mixed up and accidentally take off the wrong one. Another thing is, if there's more than one decal under a particular number, try and leave the number on the paper. On the paper. Just take the decal off, otherwise you're going to have a hard time looking for your another number 14 when you've taken that off with the decal and you can't or you you're trying to find a number that's not there anymore so just take your time with the decals on the sheets now when you do take them off um, one of the my technique for for using these is what i would do is i put them in the water and i just soak them so that the paper's wet and then take it straight out and then on a separate paper towel just sit it there and leave the water on the decal don't let it drain off just just sit it on the paper towel it won't drain off and what happens is slowly it's going to loosen while that's happening you go to your model and you, you can use decal solutions on your model um, to help decals adhere to the plastic now, what one I use at the moment is Mark Fit, and there's um, this one's a Mark Fit Strong. Um, there's other ones as well. There's uh, dozens and dozens of brands of decal um, mixtures. Here's another one here from um, uh, Testers. It's a decal set, which I've heard is just vinegar. <laughs> I don't know if that's right or not, but I don't use that so much because I don't think it's as strong as this one although on very tiny small decals I will use this so what you do is you put your you cover you place a bit of the decal solution on your model where your decal is going to go just put a little spot there and then when your decal is off is coming off your is 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 loose on its backing then you want to lift it up with the backing come across to where you want to position it and what I use is a wooden toothpick or cocktail stick and I blunt the end of it so I don't leave a sharp point I take the end off and I'll use that to slide it off the backing paper onto the model I won't handle the decal with my tweezers because the metal is likely to tear them. It's just too harsh to be touching decals with. Just the paper, drag it off, and then you use your toothpick to move it around, maneuver it, and position it to where you want. Now, with the um, water that's come off with it, and of course your solution that's underneath it, you'll need these cotton buds, Q-tips, whatever. To just just touch and on top and just absorb up that excess water and solution. Make sure you don't move your decal out of position. If you do, you just just move it back again. It's fine, particularly on small ones. Easy to do. Line up exactly where you want. And then some of the solutions or a lot of them they they say to reapply them after you put them on. Mark Fit is one of those. So what I would do is take that, just put a little dot on top and then leave it, let that sit like that. What that's going to do is that's going to soak through into the decal, thin it right out so that when it does set in place, the panel line underneath or anything that's underneath, any detail underneath is going to come through 
and it's going to look like that decal's painted on. And basically that's the end result you want, is it to look like it's been painted on. Okay, so once it's on there and sitting there, make sure that it's there's no air, bu air bubbles in there. Um, and do that with your cotton. You can just wipe over it and just smooth it out. Just make sure there's nothing underneath. It's nice and smooth. Then just leave it aside for an hour or so. Once you, you know, I, I would give decals a good two, three hours, and they're pretty much set. You know, that's all it is. It's just a matter of once that water's and the solution on, on them is evaporated away, they're done. Uh, they're not going to. They're not going to move. One thing about preparing your model before you put decals on, give it a clear coat. Clear coat just gives a, a smoother surface for the decal to stick to. Um, now it's up to you whether you use a flat clear or a gloss clear. I don't think it makes a difference. I used gloss on this. Um, but yeah, so that that's that's and then um when you're finishing your, your decals and they're all done on your model, another coat of clear to help seal them all in is will finish it off and you know that they're not going to go anywhere. Now a handy tip for this when you're handling decals and I've found this has happened, make sure that the, the sheet that you're using is kept dry. You don't want to accidentally get water on this, all right? Make sure where you're putting it down, it's in, going to be in a dry area. Make sure it's away from your water that you're soaking your decals and, and working on them with. Keep it, keep this sheet well away from where you're working. Because what can happen is if you're, you know, say you've just, you know, just been soaking your piece or you've gone and refilled the water, and your hands, your fingers maybe got a little bit wet, and then you go hold the sheet while you're looking for the next decal and you've touched one of the other decals and put water on it. Um, or even from underneath, you've put it down and there's been some water on your mat. What happens is that water is going to weaken the, the cardboard underneath or the, the sheet underneath and it's going to lift and get under that decal. Now, you may not be using that decal now. You might be working on something else and it might be later that day or the next day or two days later where you'll come across and you'll come over and go, oh, and there's the decal. What you'll see, is there'll be a, a white mark where the water was. The water's got onto it. And then what happens if you cut that decal out and bring it over and try to um, lift it off the normal process of taking the decal off the backing sheet, it's not going to come off because the decal has actually already been wet, the water's got onto it, under it, and then it's dried again. It's like it's just been placed in that position. So putting the water on, under it again, you'll find it'll stick. And in a lot of the cases, sometimes trying to bring these up, trying to loosen it, um, in the water, it, it'll rip, you know, yeah, and that, that, it's almost like it's been glued on. It's it's really bad. You don't want to get stuck with that. Um, I've heard of ways of getting them to come off um, and getting them unstuck. Uh, so whether it's using your decal fluid to soften it, um, but you really risky because it's likely that it's just going to fall apart. It's going to crack, it's going to split, it's going to fall into a dozen pieces. So just got to be very careful to keep this entire sheet dry. You don't want any water touching that. So just take your time when you're using decals. Um, be careful when you're handling your ship or whatever you're building. You don't want your fingers touching ones that you've freshly put on there and you end up ripping them or moving them. 
So make sure that you know you work methodically so that you know that you know, when you've finished a certain section, you're not going to um, be putting your hands on other parts. Uh, even if you have to split it up over a, a, a long time, just so you know that if you're going to be touching other areas, you know that those decals are completely dry and there's no risk of them coming off. Um, that's about all I can think of at the moment. Um, it'd be great if you could put something down in comments if you've got your own ideas of um, of applying decals and if you've uh, come across your own um, techniques and tricks to doing this, um, share it down in the comments. Um, that's all part of uh, what it's all about, is, showing, is sharing and letting people know um, what you've learned. Uh, hopefully others can benefit. Another thing I've learned doing decals is to um, you'll find that sometimes you have to fit ones for example this one on the front here uh, it needed to bend around the size of the side of the fuselage and some decals can be quite stiff and and difficult to bend particularly on curved surfaces but what you find is if you take your time and mark fit this Tamiya mark fit is really good for this because it softens the decal so once you've got it in place like that if you're using your toothpick to slowly bend it around the edges eventually you'll manipulate it and the decal's going to be softening while you're doing this eventually it's going to start to stick down and then it'll stick down a little bit more and, and you'll get there. It will happen. It's like um, some of the, um, have a look what i got. These ones here were quite tricky as well. So these had to go around here. And then when I slid the decal off the backing paper onto it, it just sat straight across there. And I thought, oh, great. But... All it was a matter was slowly just working it around, bending it and slowly getting around. And during the process, and this is why you need the solutions like Mark Fit or Tester's Decal Set, any of these, you need those because they help manipulate and soften it so they can go around curved surfaces and fit snugly into these spots. And you'll eventually be able to curve it around and get it into, into, its, into position. So that, that worked fine. And then another thing with decals is to remember it takes two hands to apply a decal. So you want to make sure, I mean, you're going to have one hand holding the backing paper and your decal in place and the other one using a toothpick or something but I use toothpick to slide it off with so you need to have your model secure so whether that's uh, in a stand um, on a flat surface or even using um, blue tack like this to put underneath just so to stop it sliding around because you know not that you're going to be applying much position but the last thing you want is your model to be moving around while you're trying to, you know, manipulate and trying to get this decal on, make sure that it's in a stable and secure position. Okay, well, that's about all I have for um, decals. Thanks for watching, and like I said before, comment below, um, share your ideas um, and your own tips and tricks, tricks down there for other people. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, hit the notifications bell there for uh, not getting notified of when more come up and go back and have a look at the playlist for the other tips and tricks I've got related to building models and uh, yeah if you like the video give us a thumbs up please thanks for watching good luck with your decal work and I'll um, see you in the next video bye for now